What's going on guys? Welcome to the video and as you all probably know the gyms are opening very very soon um, around seven days here so what I'm going to do I'm going to give you the eight most annoying people you have to look forward to a meeting when you get back to the gyms so stay tuned. Okay so the first guy and you all know who this guy is and this is the lurker. So this is the guy where you're on the machines you're doing your workout and you can just see someone staring at you at the corner of your eye and the non-stop staring and they're getting closer and closer just wanting to use that machine now this really like pisses me off it's like if you want to use the machine you know either come up and ask me how many sets I've got left or you know find something else to do in the meantime rather than just standing around and watching me it's creepy no one likes it and every single gym has these so the next guy and for the guys out there you all know who this is this is the guy who when you're in the changing rooms and you're getting changed you see out the corner of your eyes someone getting changed and it's usually a 60 70 year old man fully naked balls in your face you know you can't get away from it every single time now I don't know why it's always the older guys but I don't know why they always have to get changed next to you but it's not something you definitely don't like seeing some really long dangly balls and you know fully naked confident leg up on the bench drying themselves in front of you just every gym has this and it's always your guys so all guys out there stop doing it please now the third guy is the weight hogger guy now this is the guy where you're walking through the gym and he's literally got about 50 sets of different types of weights on the floor you know of all different types of weights and it just pisses you off it's like you're looking for your dumbbells which you want to use you're thinking shit where, where are those dumbbells I need and literally this guy's got about 50 of them on the floor you even go up to him and ask him if you're using them he's like yeah I'm using them yeah I'm using them yes I'm using them it's like mate you're not using all those weights at once and you're not even doing a proper workout with, with those weights like what are you doing so yeah, every gym has the weight hogger guy. Now the next guy that pisses me off is the guy that's always on his phone while working out. Now he's literally doing one or two sets and then he's staring at his phone. And he's like, mate, you cannot do a proper workout when he's staring at your phone. Stop staring at your phone. You know, he's doing curls with his phone. He's doing one or two reps and he's on his phone. And coincidentally, this is the guy that's always taking the longest machines. He's in the machine for about 15, 20 minutes. Only done like one or two sets of like three or four reps and then he moves and it's like, pisses me off it's time wasting and yeah every gym has one of those phone guys this is another guy that I don't know if you've seen this but I've definitely seen it a lot when I used to go to gym and this is the father and son combo now I have nothing wrong with father and son going to work out absolutely fine you know but what I'm seeing with this is you've got a father who doesn't know what he's doing you know trying to teach his son who doesn't know what he's doing you know it's, it's like Lauren Hardy basically working out and we all see in the gym it's the father basically telling the son exactly what to do it's like Mate, you don't know what you're doing yourself and now you're teaching your son, you, you know, your sort of technique which is terrible in itself, like, just go get some help or, you know, take some advice from someone else really. And that leads me on to the sixth guy and that is the poor technique people. Now the people who are using machines or weights with some ridiculous technique that you've never ever seen before. Now I'm not the sort of guy that's to go over and, you know, try and correct someone's techniques, I don't, I don't want to be that type of guy. but. Sometimes you just you bite your teeth thinking, what is that guy doing? You know, yeah, he might be training for some weird triathlon that no one's ever heard of, but some of the stuff they do is just ridiculous. It's not making any progress. It's not doing any effect on the muscles or working out or nothing. It's just, it's just embarrassing to see. And it's like, again, mate, go get some help. Ask someone, just stop doing what you're doing, basically. The seventh person, <sighs> now this is one of the most annoying, like, I love it when couples work out, you know, couples working out should be empower, you know, empowering, inspiring, you know, I think all couples should work out together, it's a fantastic thing to do, but please stop the public displays of affection when you're in the gym, like, I do not want to see you walk, holding hands walking the gym, I do not want to see you sitting on the bench kissing each other while at the gym, it's just, it's not the place to do it, like, work out by all means together, you know, inspire each other, but please keep the public displays of affection out of here. That leads me on to the last guy, and everyone knows this guy, right? So I don't know if you can see this. So basically this is the guy that's doing his workout as you normally would do. He'll stop doing his workout and then he basically does this for about 20 minutes. Yes, it's the guy that basically does a few reps and walks around the gym for about half an hour. Walks past all your benches, walks past you in the mirror. Just stop walking now, sit down, take a rest. You know, I can understand you might need your blood you know, to keep pumping, you know, do some lighter weights or something, but 
stop walking around after every single set. It just pisses me off. So yeah, so that's the most annoying people in gym. You know, the gyms are opening soon. I hope everyone's gonna get out there when the gyms do open. And you know, for me, I'm you know definitely look forward to it. So if you know any other you know annoying people in the gym, please comment down below. You know, if you do like the video, please get the thumbs up as well. And you know, it really helps the channel. And also go subscribe if you're new to the channel because you know I try and release a new video every week and you know you definitely don't want to miss it so thank you for joining and i'll see you next time